Let's cross over to Oko Okusa, who is in Higa County. O Okusa, we're told of uh, development around some leadership dispute. What's this about? Well, Julian, sir, actually, I've just heard you mention there that the topic of today is about retirement benefit schemes. And here in Nyangori, that is at the Pentecostal Assemblies uh, Church in uh, headquarters here in Nyangori, there's a dispute, and that dispute is revolving around a pastor's retirement benefit scheme, which is uh, pitting uh, the general superintendent, which, who is uh, Patrick Lihanda, against the administrator of that scheme, known as uh, Reverend uh, Nathan Ondego. These two have been uh, sort of uh, bro embroiled in a dispute which has uh, gone on for a long time, occasioning uh, uh, the courts, even the county commissioner, to step in. Yesterday there was a meeting at the county commissioner's boardroom, uh, that is uh, Madame Susan Waweru's office, where she uh, moved in to stop a planned uh, uh, meeting by 130 overseers of this church which was supposed to be held here and uh, that meeting has been stopped and uh, actually we have a lot of police presence here uh, coming from all over the county and in fact even the neighboring counties we've seen a contingent of police coming in uh, just to barricade this particular uh, venue where the, that particular meeting was supposed to happen. This meeting is supposed to pay, to happen today and then tomorrow there will be uh, another one, a pastor's prayer meeting bringing together about 5,000 pastors of this church here at the headquarters to conduct uh, uh, some uh, prayers and that meeting was uh, called by Reverend uh, Lihanda who is uh, currently chairing or heading the, the, the church here but has been facing a lot of uh, opposition. Remember uh, the disputes began in 2013 after his election when uh, another faction, a rival faction, went to court uh, to, to dispute that particular uh, election. There are a total, uh, I don't, we, we, we can't actually tell but we all we know is that there are cases that have been filed in Nairobi, Kisumu, Kakamega, Busia courts uh, regarding uh, different uh, disputes uh, revolving around this, uh, the administration of that particular scheme that I've mentioned there, the retirement, the pastor's retirement scheme, and uh, that has occasioned a lot of rift here. Uh, uh, early, late last year, that is when the current uh, uh, gen general lieutenant, uh, that is uh, Nathan was, uh, not Nathan, Lehanda, who ascended to office, and since then he has not had peace. Actually, as we speak now, he's holed up inside. I can't come out. We've just spoken with him on phone. He's saying that uh, he can't risk going past that gate to come and address, and address us here. Yesterday, he stormed out of the security meeting. He's now accusing the county commissioner of taking sides in this dispute and uh, saying that uh, tomorrow, the meeting that he had called, that is the 5,000 pastors, will go on as planned because uh, he has not cancelled it as far as the uh, he has, he's concerned, the church is concerned that uh, any, the meeting that had been called earlier is still on. But we've seen a lot of overseers being turned down today, here since morning. Police have uh, barricaded the, the headquarters, I've mentioned there. Even us, they have not allowed us to go in and uh, they have been uh, blocking and turning uh, down people who have showed up for that particular meeting which was supposed to happen here. The 130 overseers who are supposed to come here for a monthly uh, evaluation meeting. So that is what is going on. Our tension still high. We'll be here to, to, to keep uh, our viewers updated on what the developments are. Remember a while back when there was an event here, a goons, one of the factions ferried goons from Kisumu and caused a lot of chaos. A pastor, a licensed gun holder had to fire in the air just to save himself. So uh, the, the county security team thinks that uh, it is not proper to allow any meeting to happen here today. Re uh, as regards to those uh, uh, insecurity issues that have been witnessed here in the past. So we will we'll, uh, keep, uh, we'll pitch tent here. We've spoken to uh, Nathan Ondego who says that uh, 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 he has nothing to hide as far as uh, that uh, scheme is concerned, that he even has documents, well-documented uh, records of how money has been uh, kept. As, uh, and therefore, he, he's saying that whatever the, is, is, is a nemesis that is Lehanda is raising because regarding the scheme is all hogwash and therefore it has nothing to worry about that the, 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 the pastor's uh, money is uh, safely kept under his watch. So we'll be here to keep uh, our viewers updated on the developments, Julians.